you're a great singer and you have a lot of songs and you sing some of uh, Michael's songs. He wrote a few songs, didn't he? He did, Michael, yeah. but that, that's the, the only one I would, I would have is that one, and that's a true story. Tell me where you, where you got your own songs from. Just from the radio. Just pick them? Yes, just pick mm -hmm. them up on the radio and uh, jot them down, we say, just now, and maybe they'd be on again and you'd write down another bit, and, you know, yeah, that's why I could have songs, we say, there'd be maybe a verse missing out, if you see, because you'd, you'd never have got that verse, you know. Put it off the radio before. Yeah. Did, did you ever try writing a song? No, no. Many songs did, did I wouldn't be I wouldn't be great at the writing any of Tommy. I wouldn't right. be great at the writing any because I wasn't a great scholar. Is so, that your own style, or where did you get that style from? It's, it's just my own style. It's, uh, it's the the brogue of South Armagh and what goes with it. You've kept your dialect. In your uh, that's that's I would say where it comes from. Just the 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 the, the brogue on the just water, you talk, just the, you, you know the, the the slang and the the. That style of singing that, that, that you're doing, yeah. where did it come from? <laughs> That's a good question, Tommy, and I, 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 can, I, I don't think I can answer it. And I have been described as being from Roscommon, from Chavon, and there's somewhere else, maybe uh, not in the same area at all, maybe Wicklow. Mm. So if you can join them all up together, Tommy, you might get what I'm, you know... It's your own style. Yeah, and I don't know where I got it or what about it, but I know me, me mother's brother, Patrick, he went to America now, and uh, he was a brilliant singer, hmm. and he had a voice, I think, that we, you could hear it in Malik if he was singing here, you know. Hmm. You've been good ear for the key. You always get into it straight away. But, the right key for the right song. Well, that's just something that I have developed naturally because I know nothing about cheese. Keep uh, the doors open. <laughs> you know, I don't know anything about cheese. And when people will say, you know, I, I, I used to be singing, we say, and people, you know, if they were called up to sing in the pub, it used to be the way years ago, yeah. they'd call up for a song. You know, and the band would be there, and then they'd be pickling about, and they'd be trying to get me key, and they'd be saying, "I can't get you know, can you get them? You know what I?" And I just started, just started. Did you listen? Can you? Well, I've 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 got that from my father now because he he was a little, and he would have stepped dance. I didn't take that after him now. He was he was just taking around the floor there, just on his own, you know, dancing, and he told me one time. No, uh, this is a true story now. This Carrick and Gavin football team that was set up, we say, and it was set up in, uh, at the time of the war, about 1942 or 43. You see, the young fellas started and go to England or they'd be conscripted. Yeah. So they all had to stay at home. So they were at home, we say, just making shows and cleaning shucks and cutting hedges and doing whitewashing and one thing and another, you know, just for... Anyway, they could get a, a, a penny or two to take them to the dance at the weekend or the next of that, we say. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that was uh, 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 the way, yeah, the, 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 it was, you see. Yeah, the, the start of this football team in Tarikney Governor, and that wee house over there is gone now, just what that farm is, just across the field from me. That was the club rooms, mm -hmm. you see. And they were there on the base, something with a candle, you see. And they were there, you see, and the... Uh, it was the annual general meeting this night. And uh, the, the treasurer, he read out his statement, you see, and uh, he said he had one shilling and one penny wrapped up in a hanky. That, that was the finance that they had, you see. And uh, then he came on to the secretary, who was Patrick James Cortis, you see, who was the man that went to the University of Aberdeen, he was a smart sort of a fellow, you see, and he was reading out the, his secretary report, and he said the team was physically fit, but financially deplorable. <laughs> now, you know, so, <laughs> so they, they were running this dance in Carrick and Cabinet School for to raise funds, you see. But whenever, you see, they were there and they were discussing the whole thing, this is when my aunt came up with the thing, you see, uh, they were trying to get music sorted out and they couldn't get nobody to play the music for the dance. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So she says, 
a guap on just the cunt me Kenley and he'd do you rightly. But when they went to look the cunt me Kenley, he was in England, you see. They went over to some some woman said that uh, uh, Bridget, she, she, the people all went with the, the, the name and the family name down the down. We were known as the Neds, you see. Mm. Like, it was Michael Ned, Brain Ned, Nathan Ned, Peter Ned, Liam and Ned, you know, right down. And there was the put Brain Ned, there was a, a few fire stone around here you'd hit a quin with us. So we all had their nicknames. But anyhow, this one, she was Bridget Chase James Jemmy. No. And she had a fiddle. So they went over to get the fiddle at home, you see. This was going to be great. My car could have played this fiddle, you see. And so, uh, and over to get the fiddle of Jeb, and she says, Oh, she says, surely, yeah. She says, there's one string on it, but perhaps somebody can play it. You know, one string on the fiddle. So they brought the fiddle back over, and you saw, and they arrived, that, that was put one side. I said to the breach, that, could you play the fiddle with one string? And, yeah, what do you think, she says, you know. But, anyhow, it ended up, Listen for the dancers. For the dancers, and you lift it to your throat got dry or whatever it was, and then somebody else stepped in and lift it and lift it on. and it went on to five o'clock in the morning, and there was a great night. No music, all listen. And there was no PA system. Or Not a thing. thing. No. So the voice had a carry. No, Jason. Yeah, the yeah, 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 the yeah, floor. yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, but the the the, the dance went on anyhow. There's a great amount of music and tradition in the small area of South Armagh, just around the Ring of Gullion here. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. Oh, I... Poetry, music, song, dance, it's incredible. I think I first met you way back in the early 70s in Fork Hill. Oh, God, it'd be a long time, Tommy. And there were great sessions. Great sessions. That was... That was well, geez, if you weren't in me nine o'clock, you wouldn't have got to see it. You wouldn't have. Any, any Tuesday night and night. Any Tuesday yeah, night. Yeah. How long have them sessions been going on? How long were you at the, were you there from the start? Well, if you look at the Irish news every week, it's in it. We say we're afraid of. You know, and they still advertise the session in the Ring of Gold in Four Pills after, uh, I think it must be nearly 48 years now going. I was in it from, I was a friend, a member of it. Right. See, along with my brother. And for the I mean, and John Chamberlain and Peter Colleague, you know. Mm -hmm. well, you see, we sat that up. Who were the big players in the early days of the session in Fort Oh, Louis. Louis. Louis, if Louis wasn't there, man. if Louis wasn't there, we could have no session. Well, the session started off, we knew very few tunes. You know? Yeah. yeah. And only for Louis being there, and Louis was the main man. But then Louis' mother died. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm. and we thought we were going to, have to shut the session down for the month because that time you stayed off for a month. For a month, that's when, right. When a uh, close mm -hmm. family member died, and uh, we had to go and get Willie McSherry. Remember Willie, Willie McSherry? I remember Willie well. And Willie come yeah. and Willie led the session for for Louis. But, but Louis would Willie would come regularly anyway, you know. And he he come up and he kept the session going that's while right. Louis was unavailable. We say, and uh, and then the Burns. And the boys, Jimmy, oh, Jimmy yes, and me, and me, yeah, and Fenton um, Callan. Oh, for Christ's sake, you could, you could have fit the lounge with musicians on the own and good musicians. And Brian Nally singer. Brian Nally singer, yeah. and Brian said that uh, he would have to sing in two songs. At least. At least, you know. <laughs> He was the best singer there. He, he was a good he, singer. He, he was, was a good, a singer, good singer, singer, you see. And he wrote some good songs. Yeah, he was the best singer there, and he should be allowed to sing two songs. He was never shy. He never, never shy. shy. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But there were there were great sessions yeah. in. I and mean, it wouldn't be a long time if you didn't sing the song right.